Hi everyone, welcome back to my 30 day workout challenge from Pinterest. I'm Deanna Mandigo and today is day five of our workout. Um, I just want to talk about something real quick. From time to time you might see me wear a Gold's Gym t-shirt or a Planet Fitness t-shirt like the one I'm wearing today. Um, I used to have memberships to both those places at different times uh, when we had a car. But since we don't have a car at the moment and we're trying to save up for one because our car died and couldn't be repaired, um, I wanted to find something that I could do at home. Okay, so with that being said, let's get started into today's workout. So today we are going to do Sorry, my phone is having a hard time loading. Okay, so today we're gonna do 25 squats to start off. Okay, so today I'll be demonstrating the actual workout. So basically you stand and you can put your hands up, place them on your hips, whichever's more comfortable for you and you just raise and lower yourself into a sit down position, like you're squatting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Next up, we're gonna do a 35 second plank. A plank is just lowering yourself into the position of a full push up but you're not raising and lowering your body. You're just holding that position for a set amount of time. So we're gonna hold it for 35 seconds today. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Now we're going to do uh, 20 reverse crunches. So basically a crunch, you lie on the floor, you either put your hands behind your head or you crisscross them, I'm going to crisscross them, and your legs are bent at a 90 degree angle and your feet are flat on the floor and your back is touching the floor and without raising or arching your back, you're gonna raise your shoulders to your pelvic area as far as you can and then lower yourself down. And you're gonna do that 20 times, I believe. Wait, I'm sorry. I apologize. We're doing reverse crunches. Sorry. So instead of raising your shoulders to your pelvic area, you're going to raise your legs and lower them without touching the floor and with your hands um, flat on the floor beside you at your sides. And you're going to do that 20 times. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, 
Okay, now we're going to do 25 lunges. So basically, a lunge is just overextending either your right leg or your left leg in front of you with your opposite leg behind you stretched out. And you make a lunge position and you raise and lower your body into a sit down position while in the lunge position. Okay, and you can put your hands up or put them at your sides on your hips. I'm keeping my hands up. So we're gonna do, oh God, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> we're gonna do 25 lunges. Okay, so we're gonna do 25. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. 23, 24, 25. Now, Next up, we're gonna do uh, 20 push-ups. So I showed you the variation in my previous two videos. So we're gonna keep that variation. So instead of raising and lowering your full body down and up from the floor, you're gonna kneel on the floor and bend your elbows in front of you and raise and lower your body with your arms. So it's like using your upper body strength. Okay, so hold on, let me, let me just double check. Okay, we're doing 20 push-ups. Okay. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And if you prefer to do a full push up, by all means go ahead. Uh, do whichever you feel comfortable with. You could do either or. Now we're gonna do 35 crunches. So since I already showed you what a crunch is earlier, we're just gonna get right into it. I'm gonna put my hands on my chest and crisscross them. We're gonna do 35 crunches. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. 
If you start getting out of breath doing the 35 crunches, I would recommend taking a short break. And as I said previously, just make sure you limit how much time your break is. You don't want to lose motivation completely. And you want to keep the momentum going so you can break a, a slight sweat and get those muscles moving again. Okay, so now we're going to end the workout with a 25 second wall sit. And basically a wall sit just means you go to a clear area in your room that has like an empty space up against a wall and that's where you press your body up against that wall and then you lower it into a sit down position. It almost looks like you're sitting in a chair but without the chair. You can use um, a door that's closed. Just make sure to be perfectly safe so you don't get injured. Nobody opens it from the other side. So maybe just let your, your family know, hey, I'm working out, don't touch the door. Okay, so we're gonna do, I'm sorry, 25 second wall set. Okay, so for 25 seconds, we're gonna hold the position. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Okay, well thank you all for joining. That's all I have for today. Please join my next video. Thank you for joining. Please subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from me. Thank you for all your support. God bless you. Good night.